Okay, Tom. Yes. Uh, took some time, but I think I've been able to break down the playoff seating and simplify how it could shake out. Okay. Uh, in a lot of different scenarios, Bengals could be the team that gets screwed. That's my conclusion. I thought you were going to say the Broncos just make the playoffs. That's what I was. That's what I was reading. We here. We steer. You in the right direction. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Friday edition of the Grassi Perna Show. Tom Grassi, Brandon Perna, and this is GPS. I am wide awake this morning because I've been filming the South, so I am wide awake. I'm wide awake. I'm wide awake. awake. Did you sing that song? I'm wide awake. <laughs> Sorry. Ladies and gentlemen, we're here. Uh, we're going to talk about the crazy playoff scenarios. Of course, the best news coming out this morning. Boom. Uh, Ian Rapport tweeting out, what was that, about like uh, 30 minutes ago? Something around there? Mm-hmm. Right, right, yeah, about 30 minutes ago. Uh, that for the first time, Demar Hamlin is—he's talking. He is addressing the team via FaceTime. The breathing tube is out. Spent the morning uh, on FaceTime talking to various teammates. He's delivering yeah. a message to the entire team. So that's pretty freaking fracking amazing. Yeah, so, yeah. Like yesterday was a, a good piece of positive news, and then this one's even better. Um, oh yeah, verbal communication. No assistance of a breathing tube. It is at this point like best case we could have hoped for by the by today by Friday. So <clears throat> friggin' awesome. Um, That's it's really like it's just like helped. The last two days have helped my like the good news, like my mood and my attitude towards 100%. just the whole the whole day. So hundred percent. Very cool. Very cool. Yeah, and it's just progressively getting better. And like even yesterday, like. I know you and I were kind of on the same like wavelength. It was like, okay, like this is good, like cautiously optimistic, but you know, like we're not out of the woods yet. Like this news that like he's talking and communicating and like all that. I'm like, let's go, let's go. So yeah, I'm, uh, I'm very, very happy about that. So that, that helps a little bit. And I think also like a lot when you saw yesterday, so Sean McDermott, like Josh Allen doing the press conference too. I feel like that, kind of was like a big step to be like hey like we're gonna we're gonna go out and we're gonna play for him like they were even asked that like are you ready to play football and they're like yep tamar hamlin's dad like wants us to play like we are gonna play football like we're ready to play yeah it's uh sorry somebody said he was not did not talk i'm pretty sure Uh, he was talking i thought that's what i heard I saw like a number of messages about yeah, like uh, tweets. He said, about that. "Love you, boys." What he said to the team, "Love you, boys." So, yeah, anyway. that was pretty great. That was pretty. So I'm great. pretty sure he said, "Fuck the Chiefs." So <laughs> don't quote me on that, but it might have been in there. Yeah, it just says his neurologic. Yeah, right there. It says neurologic function remains intact, and he's been able to talk to his family and care team. Yeah, that's Boom. what I read. Boom. Boom. If you don't. What's that? I said boom. That's all I said. Boom. Oh. oh. Well, we got <laughs> we got all sorts of information here. Just another great example of how we can read the same thing and misconstrue it. I just I thought I swore I saw like six reports saying that he also was talking. Yeah. 
I thought I saw that too. Yeah. All right. Well, he's making progress, which is very, he's he's making very big the Buffalo progress. Bills retweet. He says Vane Techni has been able to talk to his family and care team. So like now it's like, well, let's break down what talking means. Yeah. Talking I thought was talking, but regardless, it's good news. It's positive news. God good news. No. God no. God no. Um yeah, and he then did, we have he did if if he could gesture it, he gestured F the Chiefs, just to be clear. Maybe he didn't say it. He found the jester for it. And I think it was this and then sign for KC. Okay. That's, uh... Now that's been settled. <laughs> that's the first thing. The first thing was, was we did we win? The second thing was F the F Chiefs. F the Chiefs. Yeah. I mean, Bengals it makes sense. and Bills fans not liking the Chiefs right now. Boom. There you go. There you go. Yeah. And Peyton Hillis is in in critical condition as well after he was uh he was saving his children from drowning in the ocean uh so he's got some kidneys and and liver issues at the moment uh you didn't see that <laughs> no i did not see that yeah oh my god that's horrible yeah um so waiting on more news there with peyton hillis former denver bronco uh Madden got the Madden cover yeah. when he was with the Browns. So, jeez, okay. We will be following that. Yeah, I mean, saving his kids. So another hero this week. Yeah. Uh, you know Peyton Hillis. Yikes! No, I didn't. Yeah, I didn't even catch that. That's crazy. Yeah, there's a, there's a lot going on right now. There's there's a lot going on. Hopefully he's all right. Um. All right. So. Brandon, the other piece of news that came out um, was last night in which the NFL um, basically published the Odyssey in its complete original text explaining all of the playoff scenarios in which they basically took a wall of text, they threw it on the internet and said, good luck. And Go read this. <laughs> go, go read this right now. We know how you football fans don't like to read, so go check this shit out. <clears throat> true it's so true yeah. harbaugh to denver yes the other harbaugh you just get the other one why would <coughs> uh, i've got something wrong with my voice still i will uh, give you mouth to mouth who save my voice tom god i will uh, i will you be like ventriloquist <laughs> the, the puppets <laughs> go ahead uh, why would why would the Ravens fire John Harbaugh? Why would he be on the move, guys? Are Ravens fans that dissatisfied with uh being in the playoffs that they want their coach removed? I think they. I think what a lot of Ravens fans want, just like having my ear to the ground, is they really want Greg Roman to be their new head coach, and then yeah, like have like I've that heard. GM head coach like spot, like Bill O'Brien had. Yeah. And I think like he really could transform that offense because like they're gaining some yards right now, so like he would just put that to a complete halt. Um, yeah. That's that's what I am under the impression of. So they're like, we want to get rid of Harbaugh and and you know install Greg Roman yeah. in. You know, honestly, sell the team to Greg Roman. So. <laughs> I, I think that that you know I don't know what his salary is. Um, I imagine he's making some decent money. Yeah, but yeah, make him the that's... first coach to have a billion dollar contract. Got it. Got per it. Ravens fans. Yeah, got it. And they trade Lamar Jackson. Yeah, yeah. Well, actually, they don't even Wilson. trade him. They just cut him. Cut Lamar. Let him They're go like... to Denver. They take Russell Wilson's contract and they yeah. give the Broncos their. Uh, first round draft pick that's what i heard they want to do that's that's what again ear to the ground that's what i heard so they also want greg roman to do defense oh yeah well, you know what that actually might work out pretty well because he's really good at limiting offenses from doing anything so like that actually that might be his calling he's like you know what i'm so good at offense now our defense is just gonna let the opposing team score so i can show how much my offense can score more yeah All right i think listen Shout out to the Ravens. You know, they, they got a plan. They got a plan. Anyway, um, yeah, so there's a lot of reactions to what came out last night about these playoff scenarios because, yeah. one, they're confusing. And, two, there's a lot of – and we knew it was going to be a, a crap show regardless. Right? Somebody was not going to be happy. 
yeah, it's people who aren't going to be happy. And basically, like we're gonna we're gonna run down and kind of like go through all the different scenarios here. Mm. But there's a couple that like stand out like immediately. So like one tomorrow you have the Raiders Chiefs game. If the Chiefs win, they are the number one seed in the AFC. So like right. that's that's number one, right? Yeah, exactly. Go so Raiders. they're voting on it today. Come on, Raiders. Raider they're voting on this behind today. you. Because there was a bunch of scenarios that were proposed and they were like, hey, like these are this is the stuff that we're gonna vote on today. Jarrett Stidham. Give the Chiefs the stids, Jarrett. Give them the right. stids. God. Um, so one, there's that. Two, um, the Bengals are the AFC North champions. So basically, they canceled the game, right? There's no contest. It's not a tie. It's not a win. They basically, the NFL was like trying to be like, it's kind of a win for both of you, but it's also kind of a loss for both of you. The, like, right. I, they were trying to find like the best way possible, but they're like, yep, Bengals are AFC North champions. Now, as you know, the Ravens are playing the Bengals on Sunday. So the issue is if the Ravens win that game, that causes a bunch of problems because the Bengals, like they will still be AFC North champions because of their win percentage, even though the Ravens will have beaten them twice. And if they had lost to the bills, like that could have caused some issues. And so the suggested thing was if that happens and the Ravens and Bengals were going to play each other in the wild card, they're going to flip a coin to see what stadium it's going to be played at. Right. Which is bizarre. Yes. Come on, Guillermo. Do it for me. Do what? it. Go Raiders. Go silver and black. May Al Davis bring you all of the ways to beat the Chiefs. I thought you were going to rhyme. I was going to say attack. Bring him back. Bring him back. Um, let him attack. It's Khalil Mack. Oh, man, he plays for the Chargers now. Dang it. That's true. Ruined my rhyme. Uh, okay. Honestly, <clears throat> okay, so the Bengals just got to win this week. And Which I, I think, think a lot will. of the major issues will be avoided, right? Correct. And I think the Bengals will beat uh, the Ravens. The other thing I think the NFL should consider in scenarios like this, which obviously rare, this is the first time I've seen it, right? But they do all these different things like win percentage, strength of schedule, like all of this stuff. Why not just weight the head-to-head -head matchup between the teams more in these situations? Because the Bills... Head to head with Chiefs one, Bengals head to head with Chiefs one. I think if they all had like the same record, sans the one game, you go Bills beat you Kansas City, Bengals beat you Kansas City. To me, that's more important than a lot of the other stuff they try to factor in. So again, Bills one, Bengals two, Chiefs three. And that's not just me saying that to put the Chiefs at three. I legitimately believe the head-to-head -head matchup should be a little more significant in these scenarios. Do you sure. agree, Tom? Or do you think um, I'm sounding a little uh, crazy? I think so. I think the problem is then you have to do that for everybody. Because I think what the NFL was attempting to do, and this is what they said, was that they were trying to not affect as many teams as possible. And really, the only reason this is actually an issue is because the Bengals and Bills are two of the top teams in the league, yeah. <clears throat> right? Like, this is not like... And and another issue is, like, this is not like it was back in September, right? Like, this was a week before the last week of the regular season. It's to yeah. the top teams. So, like, now we have this issue. And I feel like if you say, well, head-to-head -head is going to matter more for these matchups or these teams, you have to apply that to everybody. So I feel like that... It no, would just change in like scenarios. Like it should just be a, a thing you factor in a scenario like this. Also, maybe factor in who lost to the shittiest team this season. Who is the worst team the Bengals lost to? Who is the worst team the Bills lost to? I know the Chiefs lost to the Colts. Ugh. Chiefs almost lost to the You're Broncos. You're just trying to screw twice. the Chiefs, Brandon. You're just trying to screw the Chiefs. No. So no, Tom. Throw that graphic back I up. I am telling you some real, real life, mature 
solutions to this uh-huh. very. You said uh, Demar Hamlin woke up and said, "Screw scenario. the Chiefs." <laughs> what? You said Demar Hamlin woke up and said, "Screw the Chiefs." No, I mean, but he. I'm just reporting what I heard. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just reporting the news. Let's see uh, here. Put that. <clears throat> put the chart back up. Put the put the chart because. There's a litany of other things, including Ford Field uh, not being able to host uh, any of these games because they're actually fixing their turf for the first time like ever. So that that's actually kind of nice. We have decided now that the team is respectable, we will give them a real turf to play on. It's true. It's like we're, maybe we should stop with all those ACL injuries. OK, so this is like I guess this is a pretty good graphic here. Because the issue is, if the Ch- the really issue is if the Chiefs win. If the Chiefs win and become the number one seed, it becomes problematic because you could have argued that Buffalo couldn't have, they could have gotten it if they won against the Bengals and they win this week against the Patriots. Right. So that the NFL is basically putting in scenarios here going, okay, we hear that and understand that. Here's how we're going to rectify it. So you see on like the number one seed, a whole bunch of these scenarios are predicated off the fact that the Chiefs win. They're the number one seed. And in the majority of these scenarios, in the AFC championship game, if Buffalo was to play KC, you're going to get a neutral site for a chunk of these matchups because it's basically offsetting the fact that Kansas City is being get well, not being given, is could potentially win the number one seed over Buffalo with that weird no contest there. So this is their attempt to rectify it. So if KC like wins and Buffalo is the number two seed and then it's Buffalo versus KC, you're going to have it in neutral site. I know they were talking about, uh, were they Atlanta? And then was it Indianapolis maybe? Yeah, Indy's been mentioned. Um, Because they would do Ford Field, but they're basically fixing their turf. So they're not, they're going to do that one. Now, if Buffalo, if if Kansas, because again, if Kansas City wins tomorrow against the Raiders, they're the number one seed. Doesn't really matter. If they lose and Buffalo is the number one seed, right? Yeah. Then, then it really doesn't matter. Then it's going to be just be played in Buffalo. Have a nice day. Again, the confusing stuff starts to be like if Buffalo loses, KC wins. Then like they're the number three seed. Cincinnati's the number one seed. If that would start number two seed, if they win, so like that's what that KC Cincinnati Buffalo is. But then everything would basically stay the same because it wouldn't be an issue. The problem is, like, if you're the Bengals, all you need to do is win and you're kind of less screwed because then you're going to get, like, your home field, have a nice day. If you lose, which I don't think they're going to lose against the Ravens, who are basically playing, they ain't Lamar Jackson. Like, they'll be fine. So, yeah, I don't know. Like, I understand people being upset, but and I know it's very convoluted, but I feel like it's solid. It's, it'll work. Um, Two things, like... Chiefs, Bills, Bengals, they're all really good football teams. I don't think it's going to matter where they play in terms of it affecting uh, the outcome of the game. Obviously, you like to have home field, be at home, play play there as much as you can in the postseason because it's more convenient. But we saw Cincinnati beat Kansas City in Kansas City in the championship yep. game last year. Uh <clears throat> they were uh, on the road to Tennessee, won that game. It, I just don't, like, when you're a football team of this caliber, I don't really think it matters. Uh, the other thing, n- now that I'm I'm almost kind of rooting for this, is let's just say, like, the, the final two seeds are, uh, I don't know, well, you get, like, say, Jacksonville and the Dolphins sneak in. Sure. And they just keep winning. And the championship game is in Jacksonville. <laughs> like, none of this even matters. None of it even matters. The Jaguars just kept winning. And, like, the NFL went through all this work. And it was for nothing. Because Jacksonville, it's their year. Mm-hmm. And, the only, and the only reason why it's the AFC championship that's affected is because that's when these teams are going to play. Because they're the, like, that's, if these scenarios go through, like, yeah. if they're the top seeds, that's the only game that's really going to be impacted, I would say. So there, no, there, there's no, they never talked about it. They never thought about it. There is no eighth seed. That was rumors, which is why we don't listen to pro football talk. But, um, <laughs> but They're thinking about allowing 12 teams in each division. Would Casey still host Cincinnati if Buffalo wins? Well, if Buffalo's the number one 
seed. So like that, again, looking at these scenarios, if Buffalo is the number one seed, then yeah. none of this really matters because then it's just Buffalo. And then if like Cincinnati, then it says it right there. So you go across like the, those middle things here saying like Buffalo, Buffalo, KC, KC, Cincinnati, Cincinnati. They would be hosting by Buffalo. And if it was Buffalo versus KC and then Cincinnati versus KC would be a KC. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. So like I can understand why, bang why Bengals fans are a little peeved. You know, because like they might not get the yeah. benefits of like being the AFC North champion and still have to play a harder schedule like next year. And, and like I get that. It would it would be a harder schedule. It would affect their draft position, and yep. then they would have to play a road game against a division rival to start the playoffs. Yeah. It's like bam, bam, bam. Well, no, Cincinnati. So that Nathaniel, that's the last one. Right. If KC's number one, Cincinnati's number two, and Buffalo is number three, then it's yeah. being played at a neutral site. Like, if yeah, it's basically, the, the real answer here is let's just wait until uh, Sunday night slash Monday morning. Then most of these options, Good. all of these options will be gone and we'll have one clear cut answer. <laughs> Like that's what makes this confusing is the amount of scenarios that could still play out uh, because there's three different results from all of these teams games uh, and the bills play the Patriots this weekend. Correct. So if Buffalo loses, that affects the playoffs very drastically. Yeah. Um, and if Cincinnati loses, it also does. So we just need to see the conclusions of both of those games this week, and it will it'll simplify this uh, greatly. Um, what happens if they're ties? I'm not even gonna. I am not. Can you imagine? Like all like they just tie. Like <laughs> KC ties. Like Buffalo wins, and then yeah. I, I like I said I wanted to see that for the way the Steelers could get in because yeah. I think if it's a, a Patriots tie and a Dolphins tie. The Steelers could get in, and I'm like, that is the most crazy way for that team to get into the postseason, and that's what I want to see. But no ties, please. Let's just Chiefs lose, Bills win, Bengals win. Let's go. <clears throat> Let's ride. The I'm surprised, like, neutral site, the NFL's like, London? You want the <laughs> neutral site to be London, guys? I mean, maybe. How about India, where there are the most people on earth? We can get the most eyeballs if the neutral championship game is in India. That's how the NFL thinks. Okay. A lot okay. of people there, Tom. That's uh over that's, a B. That's, over a B. Grand, that was that was that was a joke. That was that was all that was all a joke. I, I I've been saying for weeks how much you hate Greg Roman and every basically every video where I talk about the Ravens. Oh my gosh! It's it's it, that was that was sarcasm. Yeah, I get nothing. when sarcasm is not detected, say on Twitter, but I thought yeah. we laid it on pretty thick. Today. I thought it was pretty thick. Yeah, I thought that was uh, it was pretty evident. It's pretty yeah. Nope, no nobody likes Greg Roman right now. Now I do know though, like on a serious note, that the Ravens really want Todd Downing um to take yeah. over and then they want like they saw how well matt canada is playing too and i think they want they want both of them they um, want kind of like like an OC. series of calls exactly actually you know what i think that's a little too convoluted i think they should do play by play so like matt canada mm. will do like the first down on this series then you're gonna have todd downing do second down and then Boom. you just you just yeah and they bring in nathaniel hackett as the uh game manager it's true it's yeah. true <clears throat> Yeah, so that's the that's the thing where Bengals fans are upset. They cannot get the number one seed now. So, it, it, oh it right, right, right. Yeah, so that that's why, and that makes sense. That makes sense. Yep. So, yeah, I don't think it's gonna be that. I don't think it's gonna be any of that. No, I'll take that. No, no. Whoa, what happens no. there? No. Do the no. Seahawks get in if they lose, and then? Packers Lions tie. Just shut up. Just shut up. The Lions get in then. Oh, the Lions get in. That's how the Lions get in in the worst way possible. All for it. <laughs> um, All I would it. not. I wouldn't doubt that they're going to come up with protocol. Maybe. I mean, hopefully this is like a never going to happen again kind of scenario. But I imagine that they will. <clears throat> so. 
I don't know. They were just trying because they couldn't push it back a week because they said it, it would impact every single team that made it in. Um, you know, and, and I get it, you know, and also you have these TV contracts that you can't just like turn off. So, you know, because like they're someone made up like the idea of like 9 11 and said like, hey, they pushed things back. That was back in September, though. Made up the idea of 9 11. What? Who made up that idea? No, that, that came, that came up jail. yesterday. I would put him in up. jail, Tom. Came, that, that came up yesterday during clickbait. Somebody like made a comment about that and said like they pushed it back, but that was also in yeah. September. So like they had all yeah. this time like before schedules were finalized and all this great stuff. So yeah. Also, like the <laughs> the other thing, the NFL uh, cannot Sorry. affect the XFL schedule because that starts right after the Super Bowl. So. Yeah. Detroit can't because they're replacing their turf. Like they're, that's usually the neutral site, but they're replacing their turf. They can. Yeah. You know, Denver's so. a, a great neutral site. Is it? Yeah. Is Bills, it? Bills, Chiefs, Mile High Stadium. You know how many? You know how many I Broncos fans would be at that game to boo the Chiefs? All we this would be the like the final few games of the season. That doesn't for sound like it's fans, neutral. That doesn't sound like it's tons neutral. of no shows. Tons of no shows. We would be there in droves to boo the Chiefs. So again, why is it that, that, that's that's the it's opposite neutral, of neutral, Brandon? Because oh. it's not their home. Vegas would be a fun neutral site. Where? Vegas, baby. Oh. I'm surprised they're not just saying to do it in SoFi. They're like, hey, we got to make more use of this stadium somehow, huh? <laughs> Yeah, the Chargers aren't even playing, but the NFL uh, demands that the Chargers be there for the game. <laughs> yeah, they're like, why are we even here? Yeah, we didn't even talk about this last week, but what kind of BS is it that the Rams and the Chargers play each other and it's a it's an away game for one of those teams? Yeah. Yeah, I'm sure outdoor... that happens every now and then with the Jets and the Giants too, but like, come on. The outdoor shopping mall. That's where I want. That's where I want my games in Gillette. <laughs> I never knew that, by the way. I never knew that. That literally is an outdoor shopping mall. Gillette Stadium? Yes. Oh, yeah. Because I went there. That's the only reason why. Like, oh. I, there, years ago, I went for like an escape the room that we drove all the way to go see. And I was like, that's, that's Gillette Stadium. Like, I had no idea. <laughs> like, that's, that that's okay yeah All right. escape room that's what tom brady called the locker room the entire time he was a patriot with bill belichick <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, yep. That was, yep. that was a reach that was a reach it was, it's okay it was a good attempt it was a good attempt Shh. um but yeah so the playoff scenarios are confusing they're voting on it today so we will get some final statement by oh, the i NFL. hope it goes like the house votes going did you see that one donation? That made me laugh. They were saying, like, if all these teams lose, hold on, I gotta go find it now because that was a really, really good comment. Oh, I freaking I want a live camera feed on the vote. Um, I want yays and nays and a gavel. Give me the whole thing. They were saying, like, if like the Steelers lose and like the Dolphins lose, then Kevin McCarthy can forget the house, folks. <laughs> It's fantastic. That's hilarious. I, I did not that's that. what's more convoluted: the house vote or these NFL playoff scenarios? Yeah. So Kevin McCarthy is in the postseason. <laughs> that's it. He's made it. Put a helmet on, Kevin. You're in. The championship game will be played at Kevin McCarthy's house. Hey, you know what would be a cool site is like uh, one of the giant college football stadiums that holds like a hundred thousand people. Let's do it there. I mean, listen. How many does Bama hold? Because the weather should be decent there. I'm just saying, Brandon. LSU, you Bama. know, maybe no one's talked about it, but I know of a few stadiums that you know there's no controversy. They're ready to go in Qatar. It's just like we could just go. They have the stadiums already built, just like they're Where? they're just just go, and then it's it's Super Bowl Qatar. Qatar. You know, that's it. That's it. That's it. So <laughs> I'm just, there's no controversy. The playoffs in Mar Lago is gonna be great. The I field think Messi is gonna be the best field these guys ever played on. Listen, All isn't their... the Chiefs kicker? Isn't Butker like kind of dealing with an injury? 
oh, I'm sorry, Messi, after winning a World Cup, then goes and kicks the game-winning field goal? I'm sorry. I, did I just write the greatest Disney movie of all time? I think I did. I think I did. Yeah. <laughs> Soccer no. player comes in and kicks the game winner. So, just saying. Just saying. That happened. Let's see. Hey, no. Hey, no. Hey, I don't think you can really just uh, wait on somebody's health like that. No, I don't think so. And so. playing a Friday night game at this point? Yes, I think so. If Yes, they will get home field throughout. Yes. So, oh. No. Canceling it, I think, is the right call. I agree. It's a little messy here. It's messy. A little bit of the feeding is going to get messed up, but that's really not important. Like, you know. No, nope. it'll shake yeah. out. I don't think that'd be great. Unless the Chiefs get great. to the Super Bowl, then it will be a, an asterisk right by their name. And I know you will be leading that charge. Yeah. I'll be I'll, first video after they win the Super Bowl. The worst asterisk season of all time orchestrated by Kansas City. Brandon's going to go on Facebook and be like, I'm doing a stop the steal rally. And everyone's going to think it's political. And he's just there to protest against the yeah. Chiefs winning the Super Bowl. Yeah. What I'm really doing is uh, uh, <laughs> step by step, gradually replacing my hate for Tom Brady with the Kansas City. You team. are. It's it's got. But you know what though? It wasn't even like it was a slow thing. <laughs> like this is. Well, I feel I've like never we, liked them. It's been I mean, expedited. Yeah. Middle school me hated the Chiefs with such a passion. Mm -hmm. Oh my God, did I hate the Chiefs in middle school? Because I went to middle and high school in Kansas. So I was around a lot of Chiefs fans. That'll make you hate a team quickly. Oh, Brandon got a fitty. Whoa. Yeah, Ken Block also passed away. Oh, man. He passed away. Um, I saw that. Was that the, the snowmobile accident? Yeah, it was Monday. Yeah. So I didn't know he founded DC, though. Oh, uh, all right. Ken, what do you got, Brandon? What are we doing for Ken? Losing no, 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 no clips are appropriate for our RIP. <laughs> no, they're not. So that's why I'm interested in you picking it, because I'm glad I didn't get it. Uh... Yeah, go ahead, Brandon. Navigate through this. Yeah, navigate us, Brandon. Yep. How are you going to pay your respects, buddy? With what clip? Say hi, Uncle Tom. Hi, Uncle Tom. Say hi, Uncle Tom. Hi, Uncle Tom. Hi, Uncle I knew it. I knew you would use car because it, you can't. You can't. You're just like, all right, it's fine. I knew it. Yeah. Coward. <laughs> fine. Fine. That's the only, well, that was the only option. Who is it? That was, you can't do a pain. You can't go. Wow. Is that a pancreas? Not really. Uh, not really the vibe. Yeah. Not really. I also like how when Carmi got louder saying it, it just became Blower. more. No, it was just like, oh, I'm just like, yes. Yeah. She yep. speaks so much more clearly now. It's Munkle Tom. That's right. That's my name. Munkle. Munkle. Okay. Um, Hi, Munkle Tom. Munkle Tom. All right. Uh, Brandon Perna, we got football to talk about. We're, we're here. We're ready to yeah, go. We're ready. A um, lot of playoff implications, obviously, yeah. in the very last week. Um, it would have been even better if the Panthers beat the Buccaneers and oh, no, I'm not going to drop that because it could have been a three-way race for the NFC South. And guess what? The NFC South, which I'm still working on, still filming. Um, that would work. Could have been even better. Could have been even better. Yeah. Oh man. They just, just their game plan was to not cover Mike Evans. And uh, I know the Panthers and a lot of people want Steve Wilkes to be the head coach. But that was an oversight, in my opinion. <laughs> yeah, how so? You got to cover Mike Evans. Explain. Why is it a problem? 200 yards, three touchdowns, why is that an issue? Literally, it was like the same play over and over again. Just Tom nice. throwing bombs down the right sideline to Mike Evans. <clears throat> It was the meme, F it, Mike Evans down there somewhere. <laughs> See, that's the thing. If the Buccaneers wound up winning the division this week, I would have cared a lot less. I would have been yep. like, you know what, fine, because it would have been interesting. But now it's not, and no. I don't like it not being interesting. Like, they'll that's, that's... they'll lose in the first round of the playoffs. I don't think they will. 
I think they I think if the Cowboys are the five seed, they could beat the Cowboys. It's in Tampa. I think they can beat the Cowboys. No. No. I think they can beat the Cowboys. The Bucks have been too pedestrian, too flawed for too long. Yes. And yes. that game did not change my mind at all because no. they were losing in that game. I agree with you one million percent. I Don't still even think give they're going to beat Tom the Brady magic crap either. Ain't I still happen. think they're going to beat the Cowboys. The defense is healed up a little bit. I think they're going to beat the Cowboys. I do. Tom Brady will throw more interceptions than he ever has in a postseason game in their first game. Mark it, book it, clip it, love it, dream it. It's going to happen. There you go. There you go. Um, all right. So tomorrow we got two games. Uh is there a way the Bucks could play? No, they, they can't play the Lions. They're locked in at four. They're locked yeah. in. Yeah. Dang it. I want right. the Lions to beat Tom Brady. That is my dream scenario. Can the Packers and Lions get in, Tom? Not anymore, no. Dang. Because the stupid Giants. Those New York football giants. Giants. Stupid okay. giants. What we've got games this weekend that are all implicating playoffs well not all no not all i implicate you in the playoffs says this game broncos chargers i mean i guess there's a little bit with seating right a little seating a little seating not for the the broncos but broncos are gonna come out playing let me tell you are they jerry rossberg you got these guys fired up steam is fired up again didn't you say this the last time they played the chiefs and then you allowed like 50 points Christmas. Not with Jerry Rossberg. J- they, uh, no, they, I know, but I'm saying you thought the offense was like back and, you know. This team is, I didn't say the team was fired up. This team is fired up. That's completely different uh, than football take, take than the it. offense is good again. Got it. Got it. What does this team got going for them? They fired up, Tom. Is their offense better? Pro- I don't know, but they are fired up, Tom. It probably have to be the NFC Championship game, and I do not want to see it. But if the Giants did beat Tom Brady in the NFC Championship game, I would laugh. I would, I would laugh. <laughs> Sorry. Um, my take on the Packers: they got ice in their veins right now. They got ice in their veins. Lions: they got fire coming out of their mouth. Fire melts ice, though. Bengals: their claws have been sharpened. Okay. Ravens, uh, their their wings are kind of clipped. Oh, so they can't fly. No. No. Dodo bird. They're like, (laughs) the Ravens, if they beat the Bengals, Bengals, they're going to be so pissed. (laughs) They're going to be like Bran from Game of Thrones. (laughs) Like, just disappointing. It all boiled down to him. His loose connection to the Ravens the whole time. They're the brand Starks of the NFL. They're the three-eyed Raven. They're the three-eyed Raven. That's right. Um, Where's the third eye? Peel. <laughs> <laughs> I love how you didn't even let that sit. You're just like, it's his pee-pee. <laughs> it's, it's, it's a pee-pee. I know where it is. Uh Okay, so yeah, you have the, the Chiefs Raiders <laughs> on Saturday. And then on Saturday night, uh, big playoff game, and that's why it's Saturday Night Football. You got the Tennessee Titans and the Jacksonville Jaguars. You got Dobbs starting for the Titans. I think the Jaguars are going to beat the absolute piss out of them. If yeah, the- I the like the the Titans were a tough sell when they were healthy. You know, um, Like Derrick Henry, how many yards does Derrick Henry need for that team to have a chance to win that game? 300? Here's the problem. Is he going to rush for 400, Tom? He does run really well against the Jaguars. Now, he did really well in the first half against them the first time they played this season and then didn't really do anything in the second half, but it does mean they roll in the end. That's true. I I don't know. I'm just... I got to be honest. I'm sorry, Titans fans. Like, I just don't want to see it. I don't want to see you in there. I'd rather see the Jaguars. They're more fun to watch. I just don't. I just don't want it. And also for the lore. It's for the lore. The, the Titans need to lose. So, yeah. I just need I just need, I need. that to go away. But, yeah, I do think the Jaguars are going to beat the crap out of them. And, like, then the Jaguars will be AFC South champs. And, like, that is such a great turnaround for that team, too that organization and it shows like hey when you bring in some talent and also have like a coach that's not urban meyer you can play well yeah 
Jags are they're just they're playing very good uh complimentary football. They're, they're playing well on all levels. And the Titans, you shut down one part of their offense, the they don't function. They just don't function. Yeah. Oh, oh, we got Faye. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh. Look at it. Says, uh, who has had the biggest meltdown? My Finns or Perna's Broncos or Titans? <sighs> Ooh. See, I don't, see, that's the thing. I don't think the Broncos melted down because they were never built but up. You'd say we were never boiling. You would, have, you would well, melt, melt would be if you were like a gla- like an iceberg or a glacier. No, like we, a, a we were sun. so hot that we melted everything around us. No, everything melt, we touched did not. No, the the, you're the entity that's melting. How so, does like, stuff work. I'm saying that I don't think that like you guys were a, a strong enough winter substance sculpture entity to have melted down the fins that that was pretty bad i know two has gotten hurt but like they were start like the 49ers kind of broke them and they've never gotten better the titans they haven't been great all season but they were like one win away from clinching the division and couldn't get it done but to their credit they also have a ton of injuries yeah. so I might go with the Finns for com- like competitive and then the Titans after that. Um, yeah, I guess I would say the Finns because we were just really starting to believe in them. And I got the clip. Reach their hands into our soul. My of- name is Russell and I am unlimited you son of a bitch <laughs> he asked about the broncos <laughs> if i ever see you in real life first thing i'm gonna do is play that clip on my phone in front of you and then smack you in the face i will accept it warmly and greatly yeah with that with a glove like a you know when they used to do it with the challenge you to a duel you ever see robin hood men in tights oh yes. yeah oh yeah oh yeah right job you don't pay no toll. I don't eat no roll. <laughs> no toll, no roll. No tolls, no roll. Hey, Greg, appreciate you. Thank you. Uh, name. The Broncos just didn't live up to expectations. The Dolphins over ex- overachieved early, and they did like they just needed to win one of those games in that losing streak. Yeah. Uh, I really hope that there's some truth to the rumors that they're considering uh, firing Mike McDaniel. Dude, that'd be so stupid. I don't think there's any merit to that. But that'd be please, so God, stupid. Fire Mike McDaniel because uh, he needs to come home here to Denver, Colorado. Come on home, Mike. Come home. Did you just say Abe Lincoln? What? No, I said <laughs> Hey Lincoln. I, I set you up for it. I yeah. set you up for it and you disappointed me, Brandon. God. I remember one quote and I already did it. Okay. <laughs> Hello, the locksmith. <laughs> okay, I remember too. Call the locksmith. Call the locksmith. I'm just gonna start changing movies on you and just start throwing quotes at you. I gotta rewatch that. I watched that a lot as a kid, but sir, do you think we're being too literal? No, he told us to comb the desert, so we're combing it. Space falls. I know that one. That's like probably one... the one thing I can remember for that. <laughs> Find comb anything yet? Nothing yet, sir. Oh my God! Hold on, Johnny Barks. I saw you in here. Me, my dear. Oh. The combing, the combing the desert one where we ain't found shit. We got, we got to do that for a team of like looking for wins. We got to do it. Is looking for their next head coach. <laughs> that could be too. No, I called it. This is mine. This is my. It's my movie. I can stay that whole entire movie. My you heart. can have it. <clears throat> you can have it. I came up with it. I'll put it on the GPS Clips channel, which everybody should subscribe to. GPS shut, Clips. Shut, shut your mouth. That's going to be a Put YouTube it on shirt. Tom's Twitter. Put it in Tom's YouTube. Put it inside Tom's butt, Johnny. That's oh. where I want it. Oh? You're going to have a... Is it going to be a USB drive? Yeah. We used to Elon Musk has his something. way with all humans. Damn it! We did. I forgot. Damn oh, it. wow. You're already recycling your own ideas. Look at you. Talk about the other games on Sunday, Perna. <laughs> so upset now. Now I'm upset. Sorry, Tom. 
Uh, let's see. What other movie could we do? Airplanes How about The Father. Good Son with Macaulay Culkin and... Uh... Oh my God, that is a reference. You know what? I saw that movie when I was a kid one time, and I still remember it because of how disturbing it was. That movie, yeah, that movie was scary. That movie shit me up as a, as a child. Kid. Yeah, that was, that was something. Two for the Ooh. Colts QB. Ooh, you know what you could do? Yes. Okay, that scene in Airplane where the guy is like waving goodbye to like his love, like on the plane. And she's like, Oh wait, no. And she's running into all the pillars and like knocking them down. That could be, that could be Ooh. something. Johnny, make it happen. Make funny things. Make I swear funny to God, things. if you guys rip on me 15 or 16 more times, I'm out of here. <laughs> <laughs> oh, another one of Brittany's mom's pubes. <laughs> oh, basketball is just so good. Oh, and I mean, Trey Parker, Matt Stone, reopening Casa Bonita very uh, mm -hmm. this spring. Woo. Mm -hmm. If you do make it out here, Tom, we will oh, go Casa Bonita. Brandon, I'm going to tell you right now, I am making it out there. Yes. We are making this happen. Yes, it will happen. Damn it. Damn it. Oh, the Simpsons have done everything, right? Simpsons has. Okay, so a lot of games on Sunday. I put a bunch in the... Uh, in the, 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 rundown. the rundown. I liked all my titles today, too. <laughs> we should have read through those to start. <laughs> uh, oh, GPS clips. GPS clips. We hit over 3,000 subs. We need to surpass clickbait oh. clips so we can flex on them, hoes. Oh, we that's true. Where's clickbait at? Uh, where is that? Oh my God. You're not subscribed to it. Look at all my subs. Uh, I know, Jesus. Uh, 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 you have a, you subscribe to a lot of things. And it's funny because I never actually like watch YouTube videos. Same. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna we're still going down, huh? Yep. Yep. We're still uh, we're still going. We're still Perna, how many people are you subscribed to? Hot damn. What the? Oh, my God. Why don't you just type in clickbait sports clips? Because I... I mm, mm. Clickbait so. clips. <sighs> there it is. Three, okay. four, five. Three, oh, four, we're going to kill him. We're going to crush him. We're going to crush ourselves is what we're saying. We <laughs> it really does. Aha. <laughs> uh -huh. Perna, you idiot on Thursdays versus Monday, Wednesday, Friday. I don't think so, honestly. I think the Bengals are going to be just fine. I think they're going to be just fine. I don't think they're going to have an issue. Oh, Bengals. Justin! What a fitty! Boop! Kitty. Can't wait for the Bengals false are offense. a good team. A resilient team. Justin, I'm glad you asked that because I actually have that in the rundown, too, about who I think is going to get fired. Uh, uh Black Monday. Yeah, it's in there. It's in there. But hold on, Justin, back and I gotta... forth. Who gets fired on Monday? Cliff Kingsbury for sure. You think so? They're actually gonna finally do it. Yeah, they gotta. Kingsbury. What other coaches might be fired on Monday? Oh wow, is that a pancreas? Wow, I said Lefleur right as you played that clip. Did you really? Yeah. Yeah. If the Packers don't get in, Lafleur gone. That's that's so inaccurate. That's so inaccurate. Kingsbury fired. Uh, Todd Downing. I feel like if the Titans don't make the playoffs, like Todd Downing has to go. Like he's they got to. He's got to go. I'm assuming if the Steelers don't make it, Matt Canada maybe is probably going to get fired. I mean, these aren't like head coaches, but um, are there any other head coaches that you think like might actually go? Because Cliff I mean, I is obviously could... the big one. You could wonder about Lovey Smith. I was going to say Lovey Smith, maybe because there's rumors about that. And you could question whether or not uh, the Panthers uh, will bring Steve Wilkes back. Obviously, if they're like already showing interest in Jim Harbaugh, like I don't know how seriously they're considering him as a head coach, but he should be. Um, Does Ron that... Rivera get fired? Oof, he could. Well, Is no, it, I Dennis mean Dennis Allen. Dennis Allen could be on the chopping block. I don't think Ron Rivera does get fired. 
I mean, I, I nothing would surprise me with Dan Snyder, but like that whole ownership situation is up in the air. So, like, you've got Ron as the one of the few guys just willing to play ball and and coach yeah. your team. So I would just leave him and wait for new ownership to make that decision. But it would be it would be a very Dan Snyder move to fire Ron Rivera hire a new head coach that he knows the new ownership wouldn't want as their head coach so that they have to come in and go through the season with somebody they know they're probably going to fire. Yeah. So but, this is good. I was going to say, but Dan Snyder would try to be, would try to make it that guy. And then whoever he did uh, hire actually turns out to be the best coach the football team has had since uh, Gibbs. So in Shanahan. That that's a good question about Stefanski because that's a really messy situation yeah. because Stefanski has gotten some heat previously, and now you have Deshaun Watson, Kajillion dollars. You didn't make the playoffs, and now I think they would give him another year because they're like, let's see yeah. how he does with a full year of Deshaun Watson. But yeah, Stefanski, interesting. That I mean, it makes sense. They should just bring in Bill O'Brien, reunite him with Deshaun Watson. They're not firing Josh McDaniels. I don't think they're going to. I can't. They're too poor. They're <laughs> literally too poor to fire him. Yeah. Yeah. God, so, I wish I was worth five hundred million and considered the poorest person in my uh, peer group. That'd be nice. Yeah. It's like, oh, you only have one yacht? Mm. Mm. It's not even a 70-footer. <laughs> oh, your yacht only has two bathrooms and none of the mm. toilet seats are heated. Uh, you can only afford two prostitutes at the same time. <laughs> Inflation. Yeah. So, you know what? That's a, So, do you think the really wealthy... Do you think... There's something above like double ply toilet paper, oh, or do yeah, they just sure. all use bidets? Like, is there like oh. a hidden toilet paper that they are just not giving to the public? Yeah. No, it's, it's just, not like... a toilet paper, Tom. Oh. It is. They have they have created a, an AI uh, animal. It's like a dog. It's an AI dog, and it licks you clean. It licks you clean. I don't. I am so uncomfortable. <laughs> just I don't want to be rich ever. Then. <laughs> I never. You say that, but once nope. you've tried it, it's like the three seashells. Okay, it's like the three seashells. You know that movie reference, Tom? Demolition Man, starring Wesley Snipes and Sylvester Stallone. Oh my god! It's the, do it's the AI dog bidet. It's the AI dog. Here, doggy. Daddy's done pooping. I hate all of this so much. I hate it. Uh, you know what? And that's on me. This is this oh. is me. This is my fault. Yeah. And I take ownership of it. You brought up butts on this show and expect me to handle that in a mature fashion, Tom? No. It's a, they're AI. They're not real. It's not a real dog. It's that's like, you know, I'm... like buttholes, you know, everybody has them. <laughs> <laughs> that was awesome. <laughs> Does Mike McCarthy get fired if the if they lose to the Buccaneers in the wild card round? No, nah, I think he's doing an all right job. Oh, Mikey. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, Mikey Hannah McCarthy. Oh, my. <laughs> Honestly, it's valid. <laughs> we, we, we lost some today. Johnny, let's put the butt stuff on the clip channel now. <laughs> nope, <laughs> it's just AI dog. GPS what do you clip. Mean AI now featuring so like, more butt stuff. So like AI, that doesn't mean anything. That just means it's virtual. So like, no, you're, it so is you're artificial saying, intelligence. It's not virtual. I, so I know, but I'm saying it's like are you putting that inside a robot dog. Yeah, a little robot doggy, little robot butt dog. So what's the tongue made out of that you would enjoy that? Soft. Soft and moist. <laughs> I hate you. You got $50. Just, just, just take it. Just take it. Thank you, Craig. Thank you, Craig.
All right, all right, all right. I love how, like, 20 minutes ago, I was like, Perna, it's time for football. (laughs) (laughs) Boom. It's it's gone now. This is a stressful week, and it's all coming out in silliness. Yep. You want to ask me how uh, billionaires (laughs) go pee, Tom? Nope. Okay. I don't. I will spare you. Thank you. Uh, so yeah, some big games on Sunday. Uh, you no toll, you don't eat no roll. That's it, no toll, no roll, baby. Um, so I was contemplating what other game I was gonna because I'm doing Saturday night, uh, the Jaguars, Titans, and then obviously Sunday night with the Packers, Lions. Um, but I was like, what other game am I gonna do? It's on TV. I hate what we've created. I hate you for doing that. I opened my eyes at the wrong time. Um, Tongue issues. Hey. <laughs> Great. So is that going to be your new eye rubbing thing? You're just going to be like, <laughs> no, the eye, ru- the eye rubbing is a, an unconscious uh, sort of gesture. You don't anyway. just do this like accidentally. Yeah, I'm streaming uh, Patriots Bills at one o'clock. Yeah, Tom's like, I'm done working with you. I'm, I'm, I'm going to stream Patriots Bills at one o'clock, and we're just going to do that. They're not firing Belichick. There's no way on oh, God's Oh, please, God. He, if they do, he coming to Walmart, baby. We got Bill you, Belichick here in Walmart. You want Bill Belichick? Oh, yes. Oh, my God. And if it doesn't work check. out, if his career check. just takes a nosedive, even better. Even better. <clears throat> yep, yep. Okay. Okay. Oh my good God, man. <laughs> Potty humor is undefeated. Thank you to Craig. But you know what works great on butt stuff, especially around the whole preparation H. Preparation. Heck yeah. Johnny John John! Look at that. Look at that. My day, my my morning has been made, Tom. You know, I think like this is my retribution for not doing power rankings yep. this this week. We I, I had them all about where teams stand. I had them all written out. I mean, oh well, like, shoot, I forgot to I made a boo-boo in my power rankings. Oh, I forgot to put the Jaguars in there. I just totally, uh, well, I didn't totally space them. Like I was looking at some teams. I was like, they're not better than the Jags. Like I thought that at two points while doing them. And then I just never put it in Jacksonville. I don't know. They just talk about AFC championship. I don't know. I don't know. First comments. Did you just forget about the Jags? (laughs) I, yeah. Mm Mm-hmm. No, Sorry. that'd be stupid. They wouldn't do and that. And I think they're a very good football team. That's what sucks. Like, I think they're really good. Like, I, the Jaguars were number world. seven on mine right now. So, like, obviously I didn't do it, like, because Bill's Bengals. So, like, right now I had seven, eight, nine, and ten all figure. I had the top ten teams. Seven was Jaguars. Eight was Cowboys. Nine was Packers. <laughs> the Packers were back in. And ten was Vikings. So, he should. McVay should quit the – just go and hang out in the hot tub for the rest of your life. That's it. <laughs> That's it. Just take that cushy TV gig, make more money doing it. They didn't sponsor today's episode, so no, that does not work good around it. <laughs> um, Preparation H. Preparation Try H. Try that promo code at DraftKings. GPS. That's two no, G- sponsors in one. DraftKings brought to you by Preparation H here on GPS. Oh my God, I need a Preparation H sponsor. If you find yourself in a hole for gambling. <laughs> I'm actually doing... Uh, <laughs> I'm doing Roman ED this this month on that's good sports. Are you really? <laughs> yeah. I got front side. Come on, preparation H. Give me backside, baby. I got you covered front to back hold on. here. On hold, on, hold, on, hold 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 on. Is that real? Oh yeah. Are you, are you really I'm waiting for pe- the, the approval right now? <laughs> You're doing penis pills on that's good Broncos? Oh my I've done it before, like a couple years ago, but they're back and I'm like it's funny because uh, they reach out and they're, you know, like my the management company I work with. And like, are you comfortable? Do, are, are you comfortable <laughs> specifically promoting the erectile dysfunction uh, medication? I was like, uh, <laughs> you're like, this is what I was uh, yes. for. Are you, <laughs> are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? 
Oh my god. I I really want Jess to make a cameo there and just be like, they work! <laughs> just, just, or the entire time, you're just like, I suffered from ED, and then you just pick Carmi up and put her into the frame. Then I had a child. No, I don't think he will. I don't think. <laughs> That's good blood flow. Yeah. See, now approval. <clears throat> Approval's oh taking God. a little longer than normal. I'm guessing I might have said for that, too. I can't say in the ad. <laughs> so we'll see. <laughs> see what notes they have. You just you, you, you have a cooked piece of linguine. You're like, this was me before Roman. And then you have a, an uncooked piece. This is me now. Boom. Same girth. <clears throat> Same. <laughs> That's a different pill. Oh, well, I'm pretty sure God. Adam did one for like hair growth <laughs> <laughs> while being very bald still. Honestly, should have just been for like chia pets. Yeah. <clears throat> okay. Oh. Anyway, um, so yeah, that game's important. <laughs> uh Jets Dolphins. We'll see if the Dolphins make it in. I don't I don't know. Need the Pats to lose and the Dolphins gotta win, right? Yep. And then if they both lose and the Steelers win against the Browns, which is very possible, then there you go. There you go. You did this, Brandon. I no, started it. I didn't it. think of that far. I oh, didn't. but I did. <laughs> From front to back, nuts to butts. Got you covered, nut to butt. Honestly, it's... Yep. Shout out, Scotty B. Uh, yeah, Lions Packers. That's the big game of the week. <laughs> Going off the rails on a GPS Friday. Honestly, it's always Friday, isn't it? It's always yeah. the Friday. I feel like we were very pent up. Yeah. You know, like it was, uh, I'm not, you know what? I Monday's can't. a lot of business. Wednesday, we got power rankings. There's news usually Friday. We're just ready for the weekend. Yep. Oh, Mike White's out? Oh, okay. Yeah, we're getting Joe Flacco versus Skylar Thompson, I believe. Oh, man. I'm not streaming that game. <laughs> not. Yeah. I'm not you know, like, it. honestly... <clears throat> The I thought about the Mike White thing, right? Because he played with what, like Kevlar on last week, uh, to protect his his broken ribs and his chest. And I think after the injury we saw this week, you really got to think about like a guy playing with broken ribs in a football game. I think a little more uh, seriously uh, moving forward. Uh, anyway, serious thought here in the the midst of dog tongues and whatever else we got i'm gonna be honest i completely pulled at you because i was reading that chat and i did not hear a word you said oh i said mike white's injury that he played through last week needed yeah. like kevlar on yeah with his broken ribs out this week like i think you got to take those situations a little more seriously oh, uh, million percent. Million percent. after what happened this last week million percent. <clears throat> honestly the jags i think could go on a run the afc i think i could Oh yeah, okay. yep. Jags no. are a dangerous team. If the Lions get in, they're dangerous. If the Packers get in, they're dangerous. There's, there's teams in there. That's it. That's it. I tried that once. Oh, Streaming Red didn't love it. It's odd because like it's tough to get invested in anything. Yeah. So, uh, Brandon, uh, what do you got coming out today, bud? Uh, we're getting on a news episode, kind of recap the week. A lot of the same shit we talked about, so spare yourself. Don't watch it if you watch today. <laughs> Are you talking about what robot dogs again? <laughs> They're going in now. <laughs> I want to break down in great detail exactly what they do. No, thank you. Stay tuned. You. Pass. They call that a tease. There you go. There you go. Uh, and then you're streaming Broncos this weekend? Yeah, of course. <laughs> Final game. I made it the first 17. Got to finish her off. And then, well, you didn't do the first 17 because you were at the Colts Broncos game. Oh, okay, whatever. Whatever. So you lied. I streamed it, 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 it spiritually. I was there in spirit. You Honestly, streamed it that game. I, oh, I did. It, but it wasn't even the worst Broncos game I saw this year. It was close. So that was, it, pretty it was close. honestly with you. It was with you. Like, that was the worst. One, not because your company, but because of the teams. The yeah. 49ers Broncos was the worst game I've watched this year. And I watched a lot. Yeah. I watched <clears throat> a lot. 
So um, um, anyway, yeah, I am still working on the South. I have been filming. Uh, it's raining here. I ran out of daylight yesterday. I was running through the woods uh, today. No spoiler. Uh, run through the woods. So I still have a bunch of characters that I need to film. Um, it is going to come out today, though. So I'm going to film all that. I'm going to edit it and not stop until I'm done with that. And then Q&A is going to be tonight. Cool. And then we will be streaming some of the playoff games together. Yes. And it's going to be fun. It's going to be a lot of fun the next three uh, I'm sure they'll figure it out. They might, though. They might. But, folks, we appreciate you. We know it's been uh, a crazy week. It's been a really good episode as far as I'm concerned. <laughs> One of our best. One of our best. No. Like I said, I, I, I don't. I don't watch it. I'm sorry. I don't watch, like, the talking heads. I don't. Mm. Sorry. Sorry. Dude, Aaron Rodgers, he he good to go. I saw him playing that fake bass, and I'm like, oh shit. <laughs> oh shit. Who's gonna That's stop what this made guy? It. He's like, there's yeah. the reigning MVP. Ooh. So remind me why oh. I really like Aaron Rodgers. Yeah. Uh but folks, thank you so much for watching. Uh I'll see you later tonight and tomorrow and Sunday, Monday, all those things. Tuesday. But I'm Tom Grassi. That's Brandon Perna. This is G P S. And you've been navigated. Where? I don't. I don't know anymore. No. Put your.